Hey guys, good morning everyone. What a beautiful day. Today, we are at the basic hotel near Hakata Station, Fukuoka Prefecture. We will explore the Hakata town and we'll give you guys a travel situation update. Hopefully, this video will help for your next Japan trip. Alright, so let's go. I didn't buy the breakfast, so I got the bread in konbini. It's a chocolate croissant, price is 160 Japanese yen, and also this hotel here. They have the coffee, so let's drink it. Where can I place the water? Oh, here. So probably we need to place the water here. Is it working? So I can place like this. <laughs> really? The cup was too big for this so that I can't get the water you know, because it doesn't go down? Oh, maybe I can just take it off and I can do it like this. And place it here. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's working. Sweet. So speaking of the hotel I stay, I stay in the basic hotel. As you can see, it's pretty clean and nice. There is a big window, also pretty new. But uh, I feel kind of weird because it's a super nice hotel and there are so many fancy places, but the service is okay. As you can see that coffee machine. It's a nice hotel, but it doesn't fit in. And also, last night, I stayed in the Riga Loyal Hotel in Hiroshima Prefecture. Compared to the Riga Loyal, the step service is not for this kind of hotel. Oh, don't get me wrong. It was good, but uh, I mean, it was not like the, you know, super professional service. That's something interesting. But overall, you know, I like the hotel though. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this is one of my favorite bread. It's a croissant inside. <laughs> nice chocolate. If you love croissant, you can try that. Alright, let's go to Hakata Station. <laughs> nice elevator. This hotel in the center, there is a super nice photo spot. Beautiful. Also, in the lobby, there are so many books. Super nice place. The basic overall, I like this place. One thing keep your mind is a little bit far from the station. Let's time it. So now we arrive to Hakata Station Chikusi Gate. From the hotel to here, it takes about 11 minutes. So when I book the hotel, the Google map says 6 minutes. However, there are two big intersections which has the traffic light. So that's why it takes much longer time. At the first time when I get there, I was surprised because it feels like a little bit far. Hakata station is the big station. That's why. Except the place. I like the quality though. Anyways, let's find the coin lockers. Okay, seems like those coin lockers are full. How about here? Oh, this one is full as well. How about there? Let me see. Does it open? By the way, there is an English option as well. Put in your luggage. Okay. So seems like only those places are open? Uh, I'm not sure if I can place this into here. This place is too hard to place it. Let me see, that one seems like open too. So how about here? Yeah, it's same 400 Japanese yen. If I can't place it here, I can't place it there. <laughs> nope, never mind. So if you want to place the carry-on size luggage, 400 Japanese yen one is not enough. Probably at least you need to find the 600 Japanese yen or 500 Japanese yen one. That's okay, let's go to find in a different place. So it seems like another coin lockers here. Let's go check. Oh, this place more coin lockers and it seems like it's available. 
I guess soon it will be full though. So that's how you can use it. Place a luggage inside and place it here. Then lock it. Then you can find the number that you locked. Paid it with cash or IC card. So this time I pay with the train IC card. That's it. The price was 600 Japanese yen. If you pay by the cash, you will get the receipt. Then you can remove the luggage with ticket. But uh, if you pay by the train IC card, you can just use the train IC card and touch the train IC card. You can unlock it. Yeah, seems like those coin lockers are full as well. So if you're missing here, you gotta be careful. It's Thursday. So probably on the weekend, it will be really hard to find a place. And the coin locker that I use, probably it's already full now. Let's explore the Hakata town. In front of Chikushi Gate, there is a JR ticket counter. So that's a line to get the Shinkansen ticket at counter. Seems like there are many people waiting in line. How about the line for JR Rail Pass? Receiving JR Rail Pass line, usually it's longer. So that's a counter. They open from 7 to 9. Yeah, seems like that's a pretty long line. Usually they take longer time, so yeah. Not sure how long it will take. I've been traveling many stations, but uh, in many places, usually JL Rail Pass, there are the long line in front of it. So if you are using the JL Rail Pass, make sure to have the extra time. Otherwise, probably you will miss the train. Compared to the last time when I visit, it's totally crowded. I heard of so many different languages, mostly from Asian country. We are at Hakata Ekinaka Shopping Street. Hakata Station is a big station. You can find many different kinds of souvenirs inside this station and also restaurants as well. Oh my goodness, look at this souvenir. It's a strawberry pie. Outside, it's chocolate. This must be good. The price is 1,296 Japanese yen. Oh wait, they have a white chocolate one too. <laughs> Sweet! If you want to have the classic souvenir, this Hiyoko Manju is a really popular souvenir from Kyushu. It's like the cake, but inside there is a sweet red bean paste. Whenever my uncle, who lives in Fukuoka, visit us Osaka, he brought us this one. <laughs> they have the limited autumn wine. The chestnut taste, price is 1,726 Japanese yen and it's fresh made spicy cup roll. Mentaiko. Now let me give you a small Japanese lesson. Chicken in Japanese, it's Hiyoko Hiyoko. And also the chicken in Japanese is Niwatori Niwatori. Alright, so let's keep walking. After passing the street, it became the Department store street. Here they have fancy desserts. Ah, oh, those are the birthday cake. The Japanese cakes are totally different compared to the American one. It's less sweet but yummy. If you never tried a cake in Japan, you gotta definitely try that. That small strawberry one costs 2592 Japanese yen. Yes, usually it's pricey. But they also have the cut cake wine. It's pretty good too. If you never try, definitely you got to try that. You know, there is a preference, so I can't tell which one is better, but uh, it's just different. So, hope you enjoy that. Oh, look at that. They have the fruit sandwiches and also the other regular sandwiches. This is a cutlet and this one is a shrimp avocado. The salmon with cream cheese. Oh my goodness, looks so good. I want to try one. Should I get the banana cookie one or the salmon cheese one? Oh, I can't decide. Okay, let's get the salmon. Yeah, sweet. Yep, the croissant wasn't enough. Oh, here they have so many different kinds of bento as well. Also, salad, they sell by the grams and bread store. But here, they have so many different kinds of rice. 
for example, this one is the red bean and also the chestnuts inside. Oh, that's dried spicy cock roll. Interesting. Oh my goodness, look at this ochazuke, which is the porridge. Must be good. Also, the spicy cock roll pasta. Yummy. <laughs> and this is the uh, Fukuoka style <laughs> eye mask. Oh, interesting. Tsukushi mochi. Never heard it before. Seems like pretty similar with Shingen mochi from Yamanashi Prefecture. The price is 1,700 Japanese yen for nine. I gotta try it one day because I love Shingen mochi. Oh, also, that's the muffin store. And look at this green tea nuts chocolate. The price is 200 Japanese yen. Let's get this one as well for dessert. So let's get out from this station and check the Hakataguchi. Wow, that's huge Godzilla. If you are taking a bus for the sightseeing, those are the places you can take taxi or the bus stop. Oh, look at that. There is a big Christmas tree already. Well, maybe you feel like it's a little bit airy. However, since we don't have the Thanksgiving in Japan, that's why after Halloween, jump to the Christmas. Recently, Black Friday is getting popular in Japan as well, but not as much as other countries. By the way, that's Hakata Station. Yes, Hakata Station, it's a huge station. Wow. So the next spot is Kanao City, which is one of the popular shopping mall. We are here. Technically, you can take bus, but for me, it's a walking distance. By the way, the hotel I stay was here, the basic hotel. But uh, if you are visiting the Kanao City or the Nakas area, which is a really popular place for drinking, we will get there later. Probably you want to find a hotel around this area, the Hakata Guchi area. There are many hotels as you can see. And a Crown Hotel, Smile Hotel, R&B, Toyoko Inn, Hotel Wing International. There are so many hotels. Anyways, we can just keep straight this street in front of the station and we can get to the canal city. So let's keep walking. Last time when I visit Fukuoka prefecture, it was still during the pandemic, so there were much fewer people. Compared to now, hotels were much, much cheaper though. Oh, there's a drugstore. Let's grab the coffee. Drugstore, not only selling the drugs, but they also selling the drink as well. For example, this one, it's 116 Japanese yen, so about 50 Japanese yen cheaper compared to the vending machine. Oh, I found a park. Let's eat there. Ooh, it's a little bit hot. It's still 21 degrees, but it will be cooler and cooler. So let's eat. Ah, psycho. Here we go. The sandwich with cream cheese. This must be good. Itadakimasu. Mm. Inside there is a salmon, cream cheese, and a pickled veggie plus some other veggies. Mm. The flavor of bonito flakes matches with the salmon, cream cheese. I'm loving it. And especially it's the sandwich, so perfectly matches with coffee. And also the time for muffin. <laughs> I know, it's a really cute size, but the price is 200 Japanese yen. <laughs> and also the sandwich, probably we could find something similar at convenient with cheaper price. But uh, you know, that's Depachika, which is the department basement floor food section. So that's Shogunai. Anyways, so let's eat. Itadakimasu. Mm. Itadakimasu. Ah, probably I don't have to explain that, but you know, the nuts with chocolate, with much flavor, why not? Ooh, that was pretty good. One thing makes me surprised is that there were many people smoking in the park. 
you know, in Tokyo, Osaka, it became really strict so that, uh, you know, if you smoke on the street or some public places, you have to pay fine for it. But I believe that in Fukuoka prefecture, it's not as, you know, restricted as the other cities so that, you know, many people were smoking and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so just keep in your mind. Also, this is a really important turbo tip if someone who are not smoking the cigarette. If you are taking the hotel, in Japan still there are the smoking rooms and uh, if you don't smoke and you don't like the smell of the cigarette, if you take the smoking room, probably you can't sleep in the room because even you don't smoke, the smoke smell is already in the room and also in the AC, so if you turn on the AC, the smells comes out, comes out, comes out, yeah. In the past, I mistakenly booked the hotel with smoking and I couldn't sleep. So if you are booking the hotel, make sure to check it. Yeah, it is really important for the fun trip. Here we go, we already arrived at Canal City. It was about 10 minutes walking from that park. So the entrance of Canal City. Let's keep walking. So inside the canal city, as you can imagine from the name, there is a canal inside. Here we go. This is the center of the canal city. Each 30 minutes, they have the fountain show with music. It's really fun to watch. The next show must be from 12 p.m. So let's wait. If you want to check what song they play and also what time they exactly play, you can always ask at the information counter. They have the time schedule. Sometimes, you know, there is the absence time, so make sure to check it if you want to watch the fountain show. The last time they had the collab with Kimetsu no Yaiba when I visited here, it was really nice too. Speaking of Canal City, I thought there would be more people because this place is one of the popular spots in Hakata. Canal City, it's a beautiful shopping mall. Now we are heading to the Nakasu, which is really popular place for Yatai. Yatai. Night food stall called Yatai. Yatai in Japanese. Let's keep walking. Oh, there is Gindako and also Hoshino Coffee. The Kirby Cafe as well. Speaking of the Hoshino Coffee, it's a chain coffee shop. Inside, it's a nice atmosphere. You can find pretty much everywhere in Japan. It's a nice place to take a rest. Also, there are many restaurants. Those restaurants, it's for the North Building. There are many other restaurants in other buildings too. <laughs> I used to play Hoshino Kabi when I was a kid. It's a fun video game. Oh, there's Saizeria too. It's a good and cheap Japanese Italian restaurant. That's my favorite Doria, the 300 Japanese yen, and the pizza is 400 Japanese yen. The pasta is 400 Japanese yen, hamburger steak, 400 Japanese yen. Grass of red wine, 100 Japanese yen. It's not only cheap, but the taste is pretty good thinking about the price. So yeah, if you want to save money, definitely I recommend the size area. When I was a student, I went there so many times. Yes, so many times, countless times. <laughs> Never mind, so let's keep walking. Also, beside the Canal City, there's a Grand Hyatt. So that's a Canal City. And Grand Hyatt. There is a bridge in front. Keep straight. That's the Nakas area right now. There is a park in front and also really peaceful atmosphere during the daytime. 
there is nothing right now, but in the night time, this place will be this so many food stall and so many people. Yeah, it's super crowded and a kind of chaotic atmosphere. Probably you have to wait for long for eating in yatai, so it's fun. But uh, if you are thinking of eating it here, uh, you know, you gotta be ready. It's like, you know, eating in the festival. Also, as you may realize, those are the red rice pots, this area. So if you have small kids, you might want to stay away from here. Yes, Fukuoka, it's a really interesting place. If you cross the bridge, it's like a night town. If you don't cross the bridge, it became like, you know, the family shopping mall place. It's a nice spot, but very safe. So if you are interested in, you can walk around and explore this area. As you see, it's a small building, but uh, there are so many signs, right? All of them are the restaurants. It's like drinking bar. Some place drinking with lady called Kyabakura, and some place drinking with men Hosto Club. It is typical and also really popular style in Japan, like rice bar. Now we just need to keep straight several minutes and we will get to the Tenjin area. Oh wait, this place smells like feed. Eh? You know what that means? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There is a tonkotsu ramen shop. It's kind of like similar to the garlic. If you cook and eat it, it tastes good and it doesn't smell bad. However, after they cook it, the tonkotsu smell, it's like feed. And it is really popular food in Kyushu region, especially the Fukuoka. <laughs> so yeah, whenever you smell the feed, don't worry about it. That's the smell of the food. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, stinky tofu in China. <laughs> Chao tofu. Anyways, so the Tianjin is just over there. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's interesting. So it's a frozen food vending machines. There is yaki onigiri, but the spicy cup roll inside. Also, this one has the ice cream too. You can just eat it right now. Plus, something interesting is this one, the teba mentai. The chicken wings inside, there is a spicy cut roll. You can deep fry it, the frozen one inside. Oh my goodness, it must be good. Yummy. Here we go, we already at Tenjin Minami Station. By the way, south in Japanese is Minami, Minami. <laughs> nice. Seems like 7-Eleven just opened and they have the promotion lottery. Oh, seems like that's really popular donut store. Look at that. There is a long line until there. So now we are at the center street of Tianjin. In Tianjin, underground street is popular. But first, let's go to check the shopping mall and the ground level. So we are at Elgla shopping street. Seems like nice shopping street, but really few people though. <laughs> there is hippo here. By the way, hippo in Japanese called kaba. kaba. And horse in Japanese, uma. uma. Sorry, that was Osaka accent. <laughs> uma is Osaka accent. I think the standard Japanese is uma. uma. And if you add the word of i, uma i, meaning hoishi. Well, it's not the former word, so I don't usually use it, but you know, many people use it. Umai, umai. If you are looking for Tenjin bus terminal, it's just over there. And also, Fukuoka Tenjin station by Nishitetsu line is over there. So let's go to check the Tenjin Chikagai underground street. One thing that I makes me surprised is that, uh, you know, the Tenjin is like Dotonbori in Osaka. So I thought there would be more travelers, but uh, seems like not that many compared to Kyoto and Osaka. Hmm. Fukuoka is a good town though. In underground street, it's super nice atmosphere and also with nice music too. This shopping street is about 600 meter long and the street inspired by the European buildings. Let's go to the next spot. 11 West. 
So behind this Mitsukoshi department, there must be the big park there. I must be here, the Keigo Shrine. Nice. Yeah, I remember the Hozen Temple. In the busy street, suddenly appears the quiet temple. So this place is like that, huh? Compared to Hozen Temple, this place much bigger though. Yep. Also, this shrine has the hoop bus too. Someone is using, so maybe next time. And beside the shrine. Nice. It's a big park. It's a super peaceful place, but here neither. I don't see any travelers. More like local people taking a rest. All right, now let's find a place to eat for lunch. I want to eat something special in Fukuoka. Let's keep walking. So, Solaria Plaza, can I find something mecha oishi here? Let's go. Oh, that's a nice shopping mall. Food hall and downstairs. Let's keep exploring. Oh, that Thai restaurant <laughs> looks good, but no, no, no. We are at Fukuoka eating something special in Fukuoka. Okay, so it's more like shopping street. Oh, so those are the food street, huh? Chinese, Thai food, and also the cafe. <laughs> well, not that many restaurants. Let's go to the next spot. Oh, seems like there is a local arcade. Maybe we can find some nice restaurant here. So it's the local cafe. They have the Hamburg steak. Oh, lunch looks good. Shintencho Street. Interesting. By the way, arcade in Japanese called Shotengai. Shotengai. So this is the Shotengai. Oh, that's sushi. This value set looks pretty good. The price is 2,500 Japanese yen. What else we have? <laughs> Legendary stadium. I know it's mecha oishi, but uh, maybe next time. Oh, that's a classic music store. They sell the CDs. Yeah, recently never seen some place sell the CD DVD. Interesting. Oh, it's Harry Potter Club. What is that? <laughs> Never mind. That was a Tully's coffee. Look at this latte. Must be good. Also, you can have this small head of week accessory with 700 Japanese yen. What else we have? That's soba and the tendon. Also, kamameshi. Kamameshi. As you see, this place made her not that many travelers. Pretty much no one. How about inside the Palco building? This place must have something. Ah, oh, that's Shinpachi Shokudo. This Shinpachi Shokudo is a chain restaurant. You can find it in Tokyo too. It's pretty good. You can try it. Oh, wait, I just realized. Yeah, this is the interesting hot pot last time when I visited Fukuoka about a year and a half ago. It was pretty good. They have lunch menu too, huh? But I don't want to eat the raw meat today because I had a strong stomach yesterday because of the raw meat. So yeah, maybe next time. How about in Tenjin Station? That's the entrance of Fukuoka Tenjin Station. And probably if we keep straight this way, we will get to the Mitsukoshi department store and we can find some place to eat. Oh, the express bus stop is here. Let's go check the atmosphere. And the third floor, it's the arrival lobby. Here we go. I see. If you use the express bus to Fukuoka Tenjin, this is the place you arrive. Seems like there are many buses going to south part of Kyushu area. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm starving. I need to eat. Oh, by the way, my hair. 
<laughs> looks weird, but it's okay. Let's find a place to eat. How about here? The Tenjin Yokocho. All you can eat, yakiniku place. And also, warakuya. Let's check the menu items. Oh, okay. It's a big izakaya, huh? Alright, sweet. So this time I ordered the intestine hot pot, but seems like they have the karaage teishoku and also the beef kroke teishoku. Around 500 Japanese yen. The chicken nanban is 700 Japanese yen as well. Wow, that's a good deal. Uh, interesting. This place also has the all you can drink nomi hodai. Price is 1,500 Japanese yen. All right, sweet hot pot time. Looks pretty good. It's super boiling. So I guess I can just eat it after it boiled. <laughs> Alright, sweet! I think it's ready. Let me see. Oh, sweet. So in the hot pot, there is many veggies and also tofu. Plus, the beef intestine. Yes, the beef intestine in Japanese called motsu, motsu, and this is a really popular food in Kyushu area. So that's why I wanted to eat this here. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oishu. Well, I think I ate the chili directly. It was super spicy. <laughs> How about the intestine? Mm. You know, usually intestine has a strong smell, the organ smell. However, somehow this intestine hot pot, this intestine is not smelly at all. I like it. Spicy. Yeah, we were. I got a cup of water. This intestine hot pot, especially the spicy one, perfect with beer. But after this, I'm planning to ride on the bicycle, so that's why I don't drink. But if you don't drive, maybe you can eat the motsunabe with beer. Spicy. Inside, there is a tofu and also the yam, which is konnyaku. Yep, the soy sauce flavor perfectly matches with intestine. I love motsunabe. <laughs> Here we go. So this intestine hot pot, you can eat it with white rice or beer, but I ordered this time the champon noodle. It's like a ramen noodle, but uh, as you can realize, it's much thicker compared to the ramen noodle. It is also popular to add the rice too. It became like a risotto porridge. So whatever you like, you can add it. Anyways, let's eat. Mm. Yeah. It is very simple taste, but the flavor of veggie and the intestine already soak into the soup. So it became a nice soy sauce dashi flavor, champo noodle. Ah, but don't it. Spicy, but uh, it's good. <laughs> Ooh, so the price was 1,956 Japanese yen. It's almost 2,000 Japanese yen, but that was a lot. So overall, pretty good. Anyway, so let's go back to the Hakata station. So that's the Fukuoka version's rental cycle, Chari Chari. So let's rent the cycle and go back to the Hakata station. All right, seems like this one is good. Enough battery. So let's use it. All right, so let's keep biking. Sweet. And we already arrived. So I ride the bike about 16 minutes. One minute for 15 Japanese yen, so about 240 Japanese yen, I believe. 
well, it could be faster compared to the train or bus, you know, because I had to transport the trains. And especially, I love riding on the bike too, so yeah. If you are riding on the bike, I recommend you to use the rental cycle too. It's really convenient in Japan. So now we came back to the Shinkansen Hakata Station, Chikusei Gate. Speaking of the coin lockers, seems like now there are many places available. How about inside the station? Yeah, that coin locker as well. You see the green lamp over there? That's the lockers available. Anyways, let's pick up the luggage. So since I use the train IC card, it's super easy to pick up the luggage. I just need to press the button and IC card, touch it. That's it. It's open now. Sweet. Yep. If you're visiting Japan, make sure to get the train IC card. All right, so we are at Hakata Station. Hopefully you could see how the Hakata Fukuoka city looks like right now. And you could see the travel situation as well. Well, for me, to be honest, I thought this place would be more crowded and there would be so many travelers, but seems like not that many. Well, Hakata Station, yes, there are many people, but the one you get to the Tenjin City or Kanao City, there are not that many. So if you want to visit the countryside of Japan, but uh, you don't want to go to kind of like too far, then maybe you can visit the Hakata City, it's fun. So in the next video, we are heading back to Osaka by night time ferry. Yes, I booked the first class. It will be fun. So please look forward to it. More adventures are coming. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please check my Patreon account as well. So see you in the next video. See you next All right, have a great day. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, this time I just stay one night in Kyushu, but next time when I come back here, I will stay longer and then try to explore the south part of Kyushu area too. If possible, I will try to rent a car or I will come over here by the car. Please look forward to it. Anyways, so the next video, we are heading back to Osaka and finally we will try the ferry. Must be really fun, so please look forward to it. See you soon!